Hey everybody, Sean Johnson, Nerd Dad Extraordinary here. Thought I would report in. I just passed another class today, and it's February 13th, and the class was C715 Organizational Behavior. Well, I would have stayed downstairs, but my phone died a super hard death, so here I am, continuing upstairs. Anyway, the class is very straightforward. Um, the textbook is just awful. It's another McGraw-Hill textbook. I think I opened it one time just to realize that it was no good. Um, and then f the way I studied for the exam was that I used the long form videos that were pro um, all the long form videos that are prepared by Jim Jividen. He's kind of a cool guy. I consider him a bro now, even though I've never met him. Um, yeah, I used the long form videos and then I used the recorded cohorts, which were basically just like. Um, multiple choice question videos for you to practice but when I took the exam I mean what was covered in those long form videos was like maybe 80 percent maybe 85 percent of what was on the exams and like really specific to like things that actually applied to questions all in all the class was actually easier than I thought it would be um, I would have actually passed the class a lot sooner, but last week um, our family dog passed away kind of unexpectedly. He was very young, he, or he was pretty young, he was six, um, and he had total and complete heart failure, so you know we had to take care of that as a family, and I, I took a few days off to take care of that and just kind of like process everything, um, but then I jumped right back in probably three or four days later. I just watched through the long form videos of the four core chapters, which were 9, 10, 16. There's one more, I don't remember it though. The one thing I kind of regret doing that I didn't do, I wish that I had, you know, like, for the questions that I missed on the pre assessment, that I'd gone back and, like, looked at all the possible scenarios that questions could have asked. Because on the. OA, there was a lot of similar, similarly worded questions, but they had different answers because they were looking at a different aspect of the question that they were asking, like a different style of leadership, or they looked at it from the opposite perspective, so you had to know the other side of the argument. That was my only regret, was that I didn't, I didn't do that. I recommend you watch all the long form videos, um, and then I recommend you go through the, cohort, the cohorts and the uh, additional uh, multiple choice question videos that are prepared on each section. Um, and then I actually probably would dive into the chapters a little bit, uh, at least when it comes to specific concepts um, and like the alternatives to those concepts, just so that you're kind of like well versed in all that. But even without doing that, I passed the final with a large margin, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, maybe just a little bit if you're kind of an overachiever like I am. Anyway, that's C715, Organizational Behavior. I think you could handle the class in a week, maybe less. Uh, I Like I said, I would have got it done sooner, um, but you know, I had some personal stuff I had to deal with. Um, so we're looking at finishing two classes in two weeks, which is pretty good. That's a really good pace uh, that I want to be on. I'm hoping to accelerate a little faster this term than I did last term. But that kind of comes down to the more advanced accounting classes, the uh, intermediate accounting, one, two, and three. Business law for accountants, auditing. I hear all those ones are pretty rough. Um, so if anything, being able to keep up this pace while I do the lower level courses will allow me to have more flexibility for those bigger courses. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Uh, thanks for keeping up with me. If you need any help, reach out. Um, I think I released my email address in a previous video. I th I'll try and link it below. Uh, email me with anything. Connect with me on LinkedIn if you're interested. I'm always interested in connecting with other accounting professionals or people who are uh, aspiring accountants. That's it for today. This Nerd Dad Extraordinaire is out of here.